Alright, so hi everyone, I'm doing Down syndrome of my genetic disorder. <clears throat> so what is Down syndrome? So Down syndrome is a genetic disorder that happens in newly born babies, okay? So they have a, so Down syndrome causes them to have an extra copy of their chromosome 21. This can cause a growth and growth defects uh, like being different and growing um, than normal kids. And this was founded by Dr. John Lex in 1866, but a French physician, German Lejeune, went in depth and discovered it in 1959. So let's go right into symptoms and affected body systems. As I said before, it, they function differently than people without Down syndrome. Like for example, um, the way of developing like uh, um, speaking, walking, and they learn how to walk and speak of, longer than normal kids, okay? So the um, syndrome affects their brain, immune system, respiratory system, and nervous system, okay? It causes them to have attention problems, unnecessary tantrums, language development, delaying speech, and all that. And then um, if you see someone with Down syndrome, they usually have a weak tone, flattened face, and a small physical size. So types of people and how you get it. So normally, boy or um, women who, who like, gets pregnant when they're 35 or older usually cause a baby to have Down syndrome but morally boys and girls have Down syndrome and morally um, it's common Hispanic and American Indians. Um, Down syndrome is near dominant recessive or awesome or sex linked because this is not inherited by anyone it's just trans junction which means that it causes happens when there is a defect in like doing cell division or my doing meiosis um doing cell division or DNA replication any of them um so down syndrome when a person has down syndrome as you get older you keep um, um new diseases keeps on happening to you but uh back then you were only able to live from like 25 years now but in the present time you're able to live six years with modern medication and treatments so affected genes and the cause basically so the affected genes are all the genes and proteins that occur for genes and chromosome 21 and the cause is when happen when um either egg or sperm cell has one extra chromosome and it's supposed to have each, each you have 23 chromosomes each like if one have 24 chromosomes and when they refuse to make a zygote cell or baby cell and then that baby cell will have 47 chromosomes, which will cause a mutation into that baby's body cells, which will spread out. So the mutation can cause a gene dosage imbalance in the body or in translation, in our type of Down syndrome can cause other chromosomes to get the extra pair, like as you see over here. Okay, so treatments and diagnosis. So this, so one of the diagnosis is called screening testing, basically to see the chromosome. The second one is called aminosynthesis test. This is also to see the uh, how many chromosomes the baby has, but in a different way. They usually check during the first or second trimester, and they basically take a sample of that amniotic fluid that surrounds the baby and take it to the mother's uterus to see how many chromosomes the baby has. Another another test diagnosis is a chronic pilot sampling, as you see in this picture over here. This basically takes the cells from the placenta to check the baby's chromosomes, like, like right over here. So genetic counseling. There is genetic counseling, and it's required to do before and after baby's born, because especially after these diagnoses, you can see how many chromosomes the babies have. The baby has, and genetic counseling will have communication process that uh, which will help uh, Down syndrome to, which will help people with Down syndrome to take care of human problems when they grow up and teach them the right way. And it's helpful for parents to learn about their child with Down syndrome too. So therapy, there are many types of therapies for Down syndrome patients, like physical therapy, speech and language therapy, occupation therapy, emotional behavior therapy, and some use, and then there's also cases where some uses um, drugs, increase the brain activities, the cognitive ability to understand problems or the, able to control your body parts and develop faster and use those kind of drugs.
So, so future treatments can be a way that um, the, a drug can boost the me chemical messenger of morphine, a type of drug that will increase the brain abilities to like be closer to like a patient, a person without Down syndrome. This can help them to recover quicker and cause them to not have many brain abnormalities as they usually do. But this is still research from MIT. They still have, to, and they have actually tested it in mice. They, uh, they um, took a drug to make the mice chromosome have, sixteen chromosomes have extra pair, and they used tests on it to see if the drug can actually work. But then they still haven't tested on the actual patient with Down syndrome. So my summary. So what I learned. The four things I learned um, in this project is that Down syndrome causes a person to have extra pair of chromosomes. There are three types of Down syndrome, trisome 21, junculation, and mosaicism. And trisome 21 is the most common Down syndrome. Um, I learned that it affects the brain and causes them not to act less like a normal uh, as a child without Down syndrome. And I was surprised that it was found in 1866. Well, that's all. The rest is bibliography and where I found my information.